Okay. Gre greetings, oh, sorry, brave souls. Uh, you're fine there, Panda. Greetings, yeah. brave souls. Uh, welcome aboard. I'm your GM in the Great Barrier. And we are back today with Star Trek Adventures Aegis. We are on part three of today's episode, Whispers of Tiresias. Uh, you've never checked me on that, Panda, so I'm going to guess that was correct. Yep. Uh, very good. Uh, sure yeah. it is. <laughs> We're... It, it's all made up anyway. This is this yeah. is this is fine. Uh, but yes, we are back for today's adventure. Uh, let's see. We will be sans one. Uh, uh, we will be sans Craig today. So Eula Shira will. Um, well, let hold on. Yeah, let let me let me do this here. Eula Shira will appear in this episode. Wink, wink. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. if, if you guys don't know the gift there, then, uh... There you go. All right. Yep. Craig will not be in this episode, but he'll be back next week, and we'll we'll keep on we'll keep things going. And uh, yeah, I am not going to say too much other than just to uh, thank you all for stopping in for. Uh, keeping up with us and yeah just we'll we'll get thing we're gonna keep things going for now um panda i will turn it over to you to handle any uh, anything that you need to okay where we last left off um poor romanov or kira tarnov has been having quite the eventful day or maybe several days it's a little trippy for the current moment. Um, to make to put a summary, Kiara Tarnov has realized that her show that she recently been hired for has been uh, getting a bit of scrutiny, and certainly the her bosses have been determined to find a way of making the show more appealing for Star Frontier. Um, otherwise, they will shut down the show, um, especially for this coming episode. Uh, meanwhile, Romanov has been trying to find a way to get to a certain crash site of an ancient space battle. Um, though the debris around orbit ha is certainly booby-trapped and dangerous for anyone who enters. However, there has been a passage found that with uh, the right pilot could easily navigate safely so long as nothing else happens in the debris field. Um, however, Romanov also has, Romanov and Ki Kiara has uh, visions of what happens afterwards of a crash and a dying Romanov crawling to safety uh, in the uh, in a hellish, a hellish class D world, um, Romanov, you were had just been struggling with a dying body towards the towards the uh, shelter of the ancient ship when you fell into a ditch and found yourself as Kiara um, collapsing on the set of a snow-covered world, um, as it were. At least the, the set itself is a classic snow-covered world sort of, of set. Uh, right. But Kira, you, you have crumpled, and, uh, and disturbingly, Kiara, you remember, you have memories of what just happened. Hmm. Right. Both um, Kiara and Romanov are both thinking that this is some kind of like frequency switching between realities. Uh, and Kiara, you you are on the floor of the set, and there are already people in a panic f fluttering towards you. Some people taking out phones to to selfie this. Some people immediately trying to shout for it, get to get uh, EMS in here. Some people are just trying to help you up. 
uh, as anybody in this in the Roger group uh, immediately helping, immediately going towards uh, Kiara because as everybody else had saw, Kiara just fell over, collapsed. Emery is most definitely walking over, um, and I'm just going to use the dailies setting since uh, I realized the set is one thing that was not uh, properly no, there. That's fine. I apologize. Um, it's not a big deal. But yes, just um, so that you have the sense of things. Um, yeah. Yes, Emery was. So is, I'm on set. It's like, am I in the shot? Like I'm the actress? No, you no, no, are. No, you're, 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 you're on. You're in the, you're in the warehouse of, of the set. Got but you're not. You're not on the set proper. Like you're, you're, you're in the production, pr- production ring. Um, and you just, you suddenly. It seemed like you suddenly took a few steps forward and then just collapsed. Okay, I'll start to get up then. It Do is. I- as soon as you start getting up, you can feel the fracture in your leg as if there's a fracture there. It hurts. It really, really hurts. I'll accept any help that comes over. If Emery wants to help me over, then I will more than allow it. <laughs> Anyone else running in? or uh, Jeremy's uh, going to grab the EMTs. Yeah, I rush over as well. Yeah, so does Lawrence. Oh, <sighs> Gara, are, are you all right? Do you need do you, do you need some water? Um, uh, uh, yeah, some water would be great. I don't know what happened, and I landed wrong, and uh, my my leg hurts a bit, but I don't think it's. And she's, you know, Ro- she's going to channel Romanoff, who is good at dealing. You with feel it. you feel like so. There is cold, and then there is cold to the bone. Right. Um, oh. Yeah, it, it it is the kind of chill that, as a LA as an LA person, you've never really felt. And this is this is kind of cold that just sort of like would probably you'll probably remember for a while. Yeah, uh, it, I, it, it's not going away. As can I make a, a uh, fitness or you know science or medicine check to just or. Or something to just give me an insight and uh, medicine. Insight and medicine. Let's say a difficulty of, you know, I'll make easy one. Oh, great! Please, thank you. Okay, so just two dice, no focus. I can't really apply my susmana, right? Nope, but doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in her mind. Okay. And I don't think I don't think Kiara's that mindful that yeah. especially mindful of medical studies. Apply her Pilates classes. No, <laughs> right. You know she's That's probably a, yeah. you yeah. know like interesting you know, like a lot of Californians, she's into fitness, but there's a big difference between that Calif- and- there's a difference between California fitness and actual fitness. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> true. And and Romanoff is something else, you know. She's Okay, here comes the role. Just uh, initiate some self control. That's and- excellent. Like, if, if you're going to apply California, I'm like, okay, that's an extra difficulty. Um, but uh, you. Did that pop up? Right, hold on. Uh, I did fitness, and that was fitness. And- oh, and and- did it pop up right? Hold on. Let yeah. me see. I'm having a refresh problem. If you can see it, great. Yeah, you're fine. There it is. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Uh, did you roll one? You did roll one. Neat. Um, so you, uh, Emery, where do you, where do you drag Kiara? Uh, do you like, do you like find her seat? You take him, take, take, take her back to the office. The office yeah, not that far. I, I think that, uh, well, I think that. You wait for EMT. I've, yeah. Yeah, we'll wait for the EMT um, with their guidance. Like, I, I've been around enough sets. I'm guessing that it's probably a situation where it's, unless the environment is, like, actively really bad, like if it were super hot or stuffy, which means writer's room probably isn't a great place, at least to avoid being too stuffy. Um, right. I, there's certainly, I, certainly on, there certainly is a lot of lights on right now, so it is getting a bit hot in the room. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because of so many freaking lumens, but uh, it's up to you. 
I I think uh, uh, yeah for now we'll like we'll wait till the EMT says that she's at least a bit okay uh, she's okay to move and then um, you know maybe help her like while they try to figure things out um, maybe so maybe the camera something. director and the director aren't happy about this yeah. um, because you got you have limited time with your actors and whatnot. Um, but the Romanov actress doesn't give a shit and is already talking down the freaking uh, director saying, hey, this is serious. Frickin I can stay here an extra 30 minutes. It's not a big deal. Um, people matter. Um, but uh, as you sit there, um, anyone getting them water? Like anyone giving her water or anything like that? Yeah, Lawrence will have brought over like, a bottle of water for her. Yeah, there's an Alhambra. You get a Alhambra bottle. A bottle. Yeah. Oh, Dasani. You get Dasani. Like, Come on. Um, yeah. <laughs> like some, here. Somebody Try redeem the hydrate. This. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll drink the water. Yeah, yeah. As you're drinking the water, you you're... examine me too. I'm going to tell him I landed a little wrong. Uh, could you check my leg, please? Uh, so at the current moment, with your, with your three, three successes, um, you're feeling yourself around to try to feel like there's any bro actually broken bones. There's everything feels whole, and the more you touch it, the more you realize your skin's warm. Um, so you're not cold, even though your bones feel cold. Um, right. um, it's hard to move your muscles a little bit, as if you've been standing in an air conditioner for freaking ever, or to, or a uh, in a freezer oh, for so yeah. long. I've been in those kind of freezers. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but. It's very much like you stepped out of the freezer. So you're like you're you're feeling warm again. Uh, you're starting to feel warm on the outside, and slowly, slowly, you're feeling w warm on the inside. But it's taking a while. Um, okay. I'll, I'll look you, over at the director and go, "Please continue. Oh, I'm just fine. It was just a flip." Great, great. If you can continue, then you can. <sighs> he he stops and looks over the glaring look of the actress and says. No, let's wait for EMT. You stay there. And sure enough, within like a couple minutes, there is EMT. EMS is, there's at least one EMS uh, around. around yeah. yeah. It's long. And uh, sure enough, uh, they they check your pulse, they check your uh, whatnot. But as they arrive, just uh, they just say, please state the nature of the medical emergency. <laughs> um, <laughs> they ask you, uh, both. Emery, since you're the boss, uh, as it were, and um, Kiara, if you want to go to the hospital, because while while you're you do have a higher uh, heart uh, heartbeat, but that could be from stress, that could be from anything else. But it's it's if you need to go to the hospital, they'll take you. But you seem relatively fine for the moment. Yeah, I don't need to go to the hospital. I'll look up at everybody who came around me. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Uh, Emery, are you going to countermand that or anything? I'm uh, personally, Kiara. I'm I'm one to err towards the side of caution. I've been on uh, I've been on enough sets to know when a writer's pushing themselves too hard, and let's say we've all been doing a fair bit of that. Are you absolutely sure that you can handle this? Yes, and don't worry. I'm not going to file any complaints or anything, Emery. I, you know, I just slipped. And yeah, we're all under stress. That things will be better after the show starts. Now, I, for everybody else, she didn't slip. She took like three steps forward, which is like right toward the no no go zone of a camera, and then just collapsed. Mm -hmm. So almost like a heart attack type of walking. Yeah, Emery. Emery doesn't like that, and I. Uh, if you want to call yeah. it, call it. You call the shots around here. Yeah, I think that. Well, uh, player impulse says one thing, but I think the if it's okay with you, uh, Brian, the in character thing would be to say, uh, you know, this could be a serious medical issue. And, you know, aside from any liability the studio might have, I don't want one of my writers to uh, kick the bucket, uh, especially... You guys are union. So. Yeah, that, that'd be bad. 
Right. So I, I think uh, let's let's get you in an ambulance, get you out of uh, uh, Galaxy Studios. Can be uh, can wait for you for later. How's the insurance? I mean, you guys are union. We're union. Oh, yeah. I'm a fan now. We're good. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> you you no, want me to ride okay. along? Keep an eye on it. They're going to be more worried that they're going to want me to sign a release afterwards to make sure I don't, you know, sue or something. You know, that's what yeah. the students want. She wouldn't Yeah, just sign here, here, here. Okay, Grant. You want me to ride along? Keep an eye on her? Oh, it's probably for the best, actually. Sinclair, you can head out with her and... And I'll, I will just say anyone else that wants to be wants to be present there. I I think that Emery's sensibility, mm-hmm. despite being the, uh, you know, the the sort of studio hand, I think that he's going to... He can keep things running with... Uh, he can keep the lights running uh, with, even with fewer people. He's a pro showrunner. Yeah. Emery, before I go, I think she should make it to the ship. I think that's what will get the... Um, As you're saying this, you... uh, Like, your hearing starts getting low, and uh, you start hearing voices again. Uh, Peter, if you may. I'm sorry, but we're missing a play. So, (laughs) that may do. Alright. Oh, where are we? I put in general. Alright. Alex, stay with me. You okay? We're getting you to safety. Remora, hurry. Cheesy. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to process the the voices. Who I'm I'm hearing. You're hearing Xantark. Okay. And does it sound like it's medical in a GS? I mean, yeah. It's, you're just you're hearing it in like a dull thumping in your head. Um, but uh, cheesy, cheesy. There's lines for you, my man. Cheesy, did you did you go away? Uh, I'm here. What what lines? It's in general. In the chat. In the chat. Yeah, let's restart this. All right. So. <laughs> Alex, stay with me. Stay with me. We're getting you to save her. Ramora, hurry. It's not. I'm so sorry. It's not popping up. I think I need to reset my Discord. Uh. Oh yeah, it's I I see the last thing that you posted there, Panda. Yeah. Uh give me one second. I'm so sorry guys. Let me reset my Discord. Yeah, yeah no problem. If, if the monkey's paw hasn't shown up, then uh this is a definite uh There should no, always be a monkey paw. Is, uh, you're um, where you said correct. Give me one second. Yeah. Also, yeah. uh Panda, just to change the line properly, that'd be Aleska, not Alex. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's car. Hmm. We we needed to do make the edit anyway. Oh, this is so unprofessional. Actor walks off stage. No. <laughs> yep, yep. Memories it's like Waterworld. Like they're they're writing this <laughs> they're writing the script the night before. Yep. I oh god, yeah. Like that that script wasn't the best, but my god, the set design was amazing, and they. Well, oh. I I worked in the building for an entertainment company while that was being shot, and I'd ride up with the L, the executive producers of mm. that when it was being shot. I was very young, and I was just working in in Hollywood. And uh, my uh, so the company I worked for was an agency, and uh, so I'd ride up the elevator with these guys, and I'd hear them talking about the shoot in Hawaii. Oh my God! It just sounded like. <sighs> show it was my amusement getting to work <laughs> all right oh, nice so you see everything cheesy i do now yeah i just needed an update okay as ah, you were as we were saying as you were starting saying these things it seems as if like you know where you start feeling lightheaded and things are just like zooming out you start fitting out a little bit um you hear these voices in your head Alexa, stay with me. We're getting you to safety. Remora, hurry! I'm already redlining impulse. Burn them out. Just get us within transport. And you, your focus comes back. And uh, for everybody else, uh, she almost collapses again. 
the hospital decision was good. Uh, Emery was right. Safety first. Yeah, I've like prepared to go to go with her to like the um, the ambulance, and I just caught her. And just like now, just let's get you to the hospital. I suppose now. Now I feel like yeah. the like the EMT has the face of Xantar, and like the driver of the ambulance has the face of like Ramora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like where they re where they reuse the actors in like different scenes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sorry, for for me as out of character, I'm just trying to recall what my scenes were. Um, it's all good. It's all good. So, uh, within moments, uh, about half hour later, you guys end up in uh, the emergency room. Um, yeah. Kiara, you are given, uh, it takes about a good hour and a half to find a bed <laughs> um, as you're putting put in weight, uh, given things are in post-COVID world. Um, all hospitals are a little uh, understaffed. Um, but eventually you find yourself a, a nice hospital bed. Uh, you're strapped to it. You're given a whole bunch of uh, saline and uh, just the, nut, the, nut, the kind of stuff that, you know, you're normally put on for a while. Um, is there anything you want to do currently? Oh, well, <clears throat> she heard the voices of some of the people from the Aegeus and she looks at Stephen Sinclair and um she doesn't know even how to broach this the TV's on right now and it's just it's CNN and it's just while there is mild uh, uplifting news, it's just mostly just garbage these days. Right. And I hate watching the so, news. So nothing new there. Several wars are going on um, with little to no end. Uh, certain candidates are just mouthing off whatever they want to. Just Lawrence, um, just Lawrence in the chair, just like I'm really getting fed up with this rump. Honestly, has he not quit already? <laughs> Somebody you're not even there. Go away. Aim better. Just, you're not in this scene. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, what do you want to do, Kara? She's going to look at Stephen Sinclair and say, the reason I collapsed is because my consciousness is actually Romanov's. Look at her. I kind of get up, go to the door, look outside, close the door. Have you taken your meds? Are you taking look, meds? I, Should I, you take meds? I don't need to be taking any meds, Stephen. Look, you've read all the science. Multiple dimensions exist, of which the majority of which, according to physics, couldn't even support anything like life. But given the infinite possibilities, there is a dimension out there that is parallel in structure and situation to what we write about. Okay. I mean, you guys can take this. I'm just gonna let that <laughs> with them. <laughs> and if you kill off Romanov here, Romanov dies in that dimension. And unfortunately, I'm her consciousness. I, I think you might need a break. Mm. What I need you to do, Stephen, 
is make sure she gets to the ship. Can you do that? It we know you know that's the good story. That's the one that's gonna blow people away. I mean, I know you're invested in the character, and I really appreciate it. But look, no, you are look, not the character. I'm, like I'm, I, I'm not invested. I barely got hired for this show. But sure, I love the the franchise. I love lots of other franchise. Desperate House Husbands. There's, there's all sorts of stuff I watch. But my point is, I know this sounds out there, but we all know there's some things that we just can't explain. And what I'm telling you is the truth. And that the reason I fell down was because when my consciousness shift back to Kiara's body, I was feeling what was going on as she was approaching the alien vessel on the the crash from the crash site. So Kiara, how were you before you gone crazy here? Like were you were how 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 new age were you before this? <laughs> I, you know, I kind of, I kind of said she's in, she's a bit of a New Yorker. Uh, sure. So no, I don't mean I, anything. That can be a whole bunch of things. It can't be worse. It's not worse, but continue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think she's necessarily, and uh, she does Pilates. You know, uh, you know, typical so typical so Cali, so Cali. But I'm like, were you ever like? <laughs> uh past lives or you know pyramids yep. or flat earth or crystals maybe after a drink she watches ancient aliens you know for the pure oh my god this is so stupid but hey with a drink it's funny yeah uh, you know that's that's about as far as i can see so i will say here as you're saying these things you realize what you're saying <laughs> i do not look convinced at all Steven, I know this sounds crazy, okay? Do you? But here's here's the deal. If you, if you kill Kiara off, you will be going to my funeral. And my consciousness will live on and I will be really angry. Who knows? Maybe a Vulcan will pick it up. Look, uh, <laughs> I'm not lying to you. And I need you to do this. You need to convince Emery that she makes it to the ship. Then kill her off. At least let me get to the <laughs> ship before you kill me off. I'm going to have to... Oh, God. Uh, the, the, the thoughts in Steven's head is just like, I'm going to have to get her put on a suicide watch, I think. <laughs> um, You've always been an outside-of-the-box thinker. In that dimension... You're a diplomat and an intelligence officer. I have to assume a portion of that is here with you. I... What? What are you even talking about? In my native dimension, you're not a writer. You're a diplomat and intelligence officer, and quite a good one. That sounds horrible. Uh, probably is, but he's really good at the job, so I rely on him, and so does everybody else. You already know who the fuck he, he, she's, ta she's trying to hint at, by the way. Uh, Steven. Do or don't? Sorry, I didn't catch it. You do. You're, you're a writer, too. You, you, you know your <laughs> yeah, like, you know like, cast. You know, you know who, she, who, she, who she's implying. Yeah, well, but it's just like, I mean, come on, hero. This is... Angleman. Quantum entanglement is real. Listen, I don't know what they what they've given you for stuff. I thought this was just like fluids or something, but you must be on on something. Steven, you can prove quantum phenomena. You fire silver particles at a magnet; they'll split. They'll they'll prove. You know, one particle can be in two places at the same time. As um, you're talking, by the way. You can feel yourself get light. Oh, I'm about. Am I about to fall back? Do I feel like I'm being sucked into? Not necessarily. It just you just feel like a spell of drowsiness. Um, okay. And, uh, I'll go. just go. Steven. You hear it. You hear it. 
five. You hear these, you try to speak and your words are like, it's like your tongue is covered in molasses. It is just. Is Lawrence hard. there? I'll look at Lawrence too. Keep me alive. You, uh, so you hear these voices, by the way. <clears throat> we left because those beliefs nearly killed us. I rather our people be a bird of prey than its meal. And then it comes back again. You're, just, you're still there, Kira. And okay. for everybody else, you just feel you just see your head dip a little slight, as if she had, like just kind of had a bad spell. Listen, you lie down and just try to relax. And I, alive. I'm, I'm calling. Um, keep her alive. Just keep her alive. Or sure, she will always be alive in our hearts. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna make a call, okay? You just, you just relax. Lawrence, how are you doing all this? <laughs> you're, you're kind of there in the background. L Larry, keep her alive. Lawrence, Lawrence is taking notes. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, is this is we could really make an episode on this. I'm really enjoying. Yes, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep her alive. Absolutely, yes, yeah. No, you're not wrong. And then sort of leans into like what Sinclair. If I what if I gave you, if I, I believe I, out of character, can I make an engineering role mm -hmm. to produce yeah, something like, look, Scotty showed some guy transparent aluminum. I could write an equation that Kiara could never write. You could certainly try. But that, we are writers. I'm gonna go. I'm nope. gonna go, Stephen. I'm going to give you, you and La Lawrence, something to prove this. Okay. I'll look around. Is there a pencil and a piece of paper? For the moment. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, I guess Lawrence technically does La have his pen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence has got like uh, his yeah, notebook. Yeah, yeah. There, there, uh, there. Currently, currently, there is unless you took it with you, which I doubt at the time. Um, but uh, he, there's Lawrence, Lawrence has your pad and pen. Pen. I'll just look over at Lawrence. He's got a pad and pen. Give me your pad and pen for a minute. I'm gonna prove my point. And I know roughly. Uh, like, yeah. Lawrence will look at like Sinclair and like to gauge his reaction for a minute. I mean, he gives you kind of looks like just don't upset the crazy person. <laughs> yep. Should should uh, this be and a he, just, he just looks and goes. Ah, hell, I mind as well. It could be interesting. Here. Hey, thank you. So it, this... it, look, I'll look at them and go, look at this. If if what I write is something that's complete BS, you know it's the effects of whatever health thing is affecting me. But if what I write is correct, then there may be a seed of truth in what I'm telling you. Since mm -hmm. one one okay. query, GM, and I I don't mean sure. to undercut my player uh, my fellow player creating an advantage, but since uh, depending on how far the mental linkage is here, um, would it make more sense to have Brian just roll two flat D twenties or to roll off the character sheet? Uh, how about uh, you knock uh, off? So so, so I was going to set this up. It's going to be two flat D20s. And uh, let me ask you right now, in all honesty, mm -hmm. no, no, uh, don't, uh, please don't try to exploit this. How much tech savvy is Kiara? I would say enough to do her I job. mean, like full on science engineering. No, no, she's not. That's what's. That's the thing she's gonna go for here. Okay, so you, you know. have a skill of eight. Okay. Give me five, uh, five successes. Oh my god! Good lord! Okay. It's like almost impossible to do. Oh, uh, then if do you I have go, a determination? I do, but if I blow that, I don't have it. If I actually get into the alien artifact ship, 
There is mm-hmm. also momentum on the board, which yeah. let me make sure. I'm, go- I'm going to need some picture. momentum, guys, because I'm in two bad situations. We, I'm either we have three momentum at the moment. Okay, I'm spending two. Okay, so that'd and be I'm not going to burn. Currently, I'm going to burn two threat to increase the complication range. God okay. damn it! So I am threat is. Let's see. Okay. Threat is threat is three. The complication range is three. Complication range is three. You need five successes. Okay. And to get I... to get a hint of something, you are dredging very deep in a consciousness okay. that you have barely yeah. a thing of. Exactly. Exactly. But she's going to kind of let the Romanov take over. And, uh, okay. And I will... Just roll... Just roll. No, no, how, gonna... much, how much momentum are you spending? I spent two if i spend three if i spend two i get an extra die right no, you, get, you get two one for an extra two die extra and die. then three for uh two oh extra. yeah yeah sorry it's, it's early in the right. morning and i haven't had yeah. a coffee so you, 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 you can spend one for one or three all three for two yeah but your but your 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 skill your skill and attribute is a total of eight so okay a total of eight i'm rolling four D8. Right? So you're spending all your momentum on this? Yeah, I'm going to blow it all. I got it. I've got to. Sh- these guys have to fucking script this thing so I don't die. That's yeah, roll, Then roll flat roll 4D20. 4D20. And uh, let's see. I'm trying, I, I got nothing else. Okay, here it goes. Slash 4D20. Oh, that you is got four gross. successes, but, but one complication. Nice. Yep. Is there anything? Let's see if I've got anything on my sheet that I can. Uh, I can do stuff when I'm engineering, but you're a dog. You do not. You're not Romanov. You're a Kiara. I know. I know. I was just seeing. Okay, I got four. It ought to be a hell of an equation, well beyond what Kiara could do. I won't. Blo- I'm aware of time. You know, she at least personally, being somewhat Vulcan educated, uh, except she does believe in time travel, would believe that fucking with it is bad. So, I'm going to write an equation that would be well beyond what Kiara Terranova could do, uh, and is something that would. I'm a you okay? So first off, before we discuss further what are you going to do with that complication and what are my options for it narrative your uh, threat okay i want to take narrative and okay. um and it, i'm going to suggest that i'm going to hand this equation over and then i'm going to pass out because this is all i can do this is you know pulling the only trick it I've got. hurts it, you are digging up so hard, and for Stephen and Lawrence, you're seeing her. I imagine you get quite mad because of uh, uh, Kiara, because like you're trying to dig up like a brief memory that it's basically a hallucination to you. <laughs> like you're, you're you're trying to make this real, but every time you you try to grasp it, it just gets harder to grasp. Right. Because one, you're not an engineer, so you're 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 trying to make sense of stuff that makes no sense to you. This is mad writing. Um, and you're trying to get the equations right you occasionally you occasionally feel like it's wrong you constantly rewrite it takes you a good 15 minutes and it stresses and panics like the anxiety is so high because the more the more you write the more you're sure you don't have it right um there is a full on a lot of like do you scribble or do you just tear off the page what do you do when you get it wrong um, I'll tear off the page, restart, and what it is, is it's an algorithm calculation that would be above and beyond this time period. Sure. And something they could show to any computer science who, scientist who go, what the fuck is that? Sure. Like, you have, um, at some point, the nurse does stop you. Uh, there's a nurse that comes in because your your BP goes really high. 
Because you're exactly. If I that, I'll take the finger thing off. That way they don't know. Then they always. Mm. Yeah, no, no, okay, Stephen <laughs> Lawrence, you see, you see, you start taking things off <laughs> in terms of hearts, uh, hospital stuff. Ashy I mean, gets, like, gets more mad. If you about, if you disconnected it. the alarm goes off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she disconnects it, finishes the equation, and hands it to uh, you. Are you are halfway done before you are pulled to another room where there is no paper, not that you lose your shoes. You, uh, there, there is nothing that can harm you. That's you fine. I, I'm just gonna hand the paper on my way out. I'm gonna make sure they get the paper. It's not complete, but if you show it to a computer scientist, which I am not, they will tell you it is very, very, very mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, Stephen Lawrence, you have a certainly equations, numbers, lines, something. But it the the num the numbers and the equations are more like mad scribbles than anything else. Ah, shit. Hey, at least I'm in good company. <laughs> Cisco had the same problem writing on walls. <laughs> I can see my future. She can see her future. <laughs> yeah. <I guess> so, <laughs> so Stephen, Stephen kind of no, rather than a story. <laughs> Stephen Cook looks at the paper. It's just like so. The last physics ed was high school. I what? I just uh, ran, yeah. Hands it to Lawrence. I did a little bit on on a couple of shows, but now you are looking at a four, and I ate the complication, so it's not quite a five, but it's not quite a five, but it's also mad writing. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> but also, but also we have not a single man. idea what's this what this is supposed to be. Uh, your your, your uh, narrative yeah. complication is that you're you've just submitted half an equation uh, that could be correct to Hollywood writers. Yeah, more yes. or less. It could could be correct, it, but it's also you're, you're, it's also the anxious, furious writing of somebody who's desperately trying to get it, get it right. As they're pulling uh, me out on my bed, I, I look at them and go... Oh, no, 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 no. Sweetie, they don't pull you out of bed. They take the bed. They just... They just... <laughs> As they're rolling me out, I look at them and go... Kiara can't do that. Go look at her bio. Um, I'm really concerned about her. It's like I know I, I teased her a bit because she's like not getting up as early no, as I'm... everyone else, but I know. But but still, I mean, I think this could be great for an episode. I mean, certainly we can use some something from this experience. But at the same time. You don't know never, any psychologists, do you? I never knew you were such a, uh, such a cold. I don't even know what what the rest of that is, but that's cold, man. It's a, I mean, look. I can't help it when inspiration comes, okay? But at the same time, I want to make sure that she's well, and a positive outcome can come for an even better story. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. From down the hallway. Show the equation to a computer scientist. Uh, Lawrence will look at like single oh, Do you know any computer the scientists? These nurses and doctors probably don't like me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they probably didn't have a robot. No, they don't. Um, no, they definitely don't. I mean, I you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call this in. I'm not I'm not deciding this. This is I'm not getting paid enough to decide any of this. And on the way out, I also talked to like Neither nurse one of us or doctor, and just I basically, I basically saying I'm really concerned about her. Like she indicates mm. she might die. So <laughs> yeah, no, no, she's she's gonna. Is there any them 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 the amount of panic, the amount of madness mm. is she's already put on her <laughs> Fair. Okay. They thank you though. Panda. Yeah, 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 panda. Um, is there any chance that Lawrence might have known, like, a quote-unquote computer scientist in any of his previous, like, roles uh, I mean, you guys are all nerds. on other shows? You guys are all nerds. You probably have a few yeah. apps here and there. And so, could I take a photo of whatever Kira has given me and, like, message it to one or maybe a couple just to see? Sure. Lawrence is curious. He's just like, I don't know yeah. where this will go. I'm having an idea well, for like a show. Does this make any sense? 
Uh, they, they, <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. You get, a, you get a response back of like, did you it, to the quote of, did you pick a, pick up a college student's junk homework? What what is this? Um, because it is really uh, just my... scribbles. It, it 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 is a pen that is frequently rewriting, scratching out numbers, replacing numbers, replacing lines, just over and over and over again to try to get the damn thing right. Uh, uh, like in response, it's just like eh, it's a it's an idea from an intern and see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the the problem with these equations is unless they're perfect, they don't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, oh God. And and, 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 and the fact the fact you have to decipher it too because again it's yeah. written by a mad by a mad woman. Yeah. So, do we stay here or do we go back? Up to you. No, I'm asking. Yeah, look, look, yeah who's look, showing up? How uh, about Jeremy, Jeremy you... or well, sorry for a moment, but Jeremy, Emery, do either of you show up? Like you come visit, or you just work? Like she's she's good at she's good where she is, and you know. Um, I I think Emery was going to see out the day such that he could. Uh, if he were to visit, it wouldn't be until much later in the day. All right, Jeremy, how about you? You'd probably go with Emery, help him at the workstation, and then leave with him. Okay. Uh, Stephen, Lor- uh, Stephen Lawrence, are you going to chill there? Because uh, she gets sent to a separate room uh, and a much higher floor. Mm. Uh, she puts on, or, uh, she's, uh, she has put on Send Me Too. You're not allowed, you're not allowed paper, pen, you're not allowed pens, or uh, your shoes are left outside. Um, oh, wow. It's a, like, it's a, very, nice, pe- it's a very nice padded room. Mm. It's, not pa- it's not padded yet. It's seventy-two. Yes. It, 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 it's seventy-two. <laughs> it's, it's, 70, it's seventy-two. Yet. Not a. Not a. Um, it's not quite yet sent, sent to a, a proper place. Currently, currently, it's it's just the you know a, a different patient room. Then just being more closely observed. Uh, yeah. Hey, okay, Lawrence. I guess we should head. Uh, you're gonna get us get us something to bite, and I call this into memory. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, anything in particular? Cheese. Give me something with cheese. That's fair. And then I just die, Lemory. Yeah. So while it's going on, hours go by. Um, Kiara, you are sent to a room with a very clear glass door, uh, and um, you have no you have no shoes anymore. You have nothing that could really be harmful to. And certainly, you, you the the glass door is facing directly to the nurses' desks, so they always keep an eye on you. Um, and they do keep an always eye on you, uh, even, 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 even being somewhat bothersome in their uh, pestering of seeing if you're okay, do you need anything, so on and so forth. Okay, I'm going to be the good patient. I will just be the good patient. I did what I needed to do. I'm just you trying. are. You are not allowed TV um, because they feel like that would probably be too stressful. Um, probably good good napping if you if you want to. Yeah, I'll uh, get a good nap in. It might as well be fresh for whatever comes next. Yep, yeah, and sure enough, uh, Emery, uh, Jeremy, if you want to show up, you can. Okay. Yeah. Later on that evening, um, <clears throat> Emery will um, Emery and. We'll bring Jeremy. Let me. Sorry. Let me go back. Find the. Find all the tokens. And. Oh, just needed to copy the guys um, over. And then... Hey Panda. Yeah. Would it be possible to sneak in a crayon and a few pieces of folded up paper? Um. They are highly yeah. observant. I think it is, like I said, it's a clear door. So they definitely can always keep an eye on this person. But if I think a crayon, crayons and a paper would be okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Emery would try to, uh, he might have like a little care package of goodies, um, you know, some sort of snackage and maybe, uh, and like, I don't know, something that he thinks Kiara might enjoy drinking that isn't uh, an obvious, like, uh, you know, nothing alcoholic per se. If 
if she's into a particular like fizzy water or fruit juice or something like that, just a yeah, little you, care you, package, you, stuffed animal, maybe something from the gift uh, shop, so long as the nurses don't object. The nurses mostly don't object. Uh, as to the fizzy water, unless it's in a, like a, 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 a drink bladder, they just give you a cup, a paper cup. Yep. The yep. those super cheap ones that you know, you definitely can't suffocate yourself with. Yep. Um, yep. yep. And oddly enough, at some level, the Romanov part of Kiara is very familiar with these kind of scenarios. <laughs> um, she was in one for a long time. She was like you, time. so. Well, I, I will say that the Romanov part just has memories, brief memories. You don't. It like I said, it's not a full on conscience. It's just right. this sort of this vi- this these brief moment, these brief brief flashes of cognizance. But, but they're not, hey, they're not like, currently experienced. Like like her, her soda. She believes it now. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, once once they step in, um, everyone will say, Oh, Kiara, how, how are we doing today? Are we feeling any better? Yeah, I, I am definitely feeling better. I think that uh, perhaps, well, I don't know. The doctors will figure all this out. Um, you know, stuff happens to people. I'm sure I was quite out of it. I... <clears throat> I just can't explain all this, but, uh... Something happened, and I collapsed, so... I got you some crayon and some paper, in case you wanted to write or something. Oh, yes, thank you. I'll take the crayon and, and paper, and I'll make sure that the the people can see that I, put, you know, the people watching me because she's. Oh, they are. They yeah. are. Yeah. Like as soon as the guest came in, they're they're watching the hawks. I I know, and she'll gesture to it that it's right there, and uh, I will definitely enjoy the fruit juice and the goodies and the stuffed animal. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I I know you guys have other responsibilities. I just don't know what happened. I don't believe it's stress, Wallace. I think it might be, I don't know, maybe some medications. I don't know, they'll have to run a battery of tests. Maybe I got some brain swelling from something that can make you quite out of it. Well, I can't say all this. I I wouldn't guess that all this stress is uh, helping any of that in particular. No, but whatever biological process went on, uh, Emery, I uh, you know, will find out, and uh, hopefully uh, it's nothing very serious. <laughs> Don't necessarily believe in stress. Yeah. Just to double check, had- did Sinclair uh, update at least me on the uh, on the nature of the babbling previously? Oh yeah, hundred percent. All the insane ramblings. All right, go I ahead with you. Gotcha. Go ahead there, Cheesy. Have you had these episodes before on the show while working? I've never had an episode like this before in my life. Wallace kind of grimaces a little bit or just uh, throws his brow in obvious concern. The ending's not... I took off the finger monitor. That always pisses off hospital people, so... But, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll be okay. You don't like where the show's going, do you? I've only been on the show for a short period of time, and the show may be over very soon if it doesn't go in the right direction. I'd love to see it be successful. I think it's a good show. I think we have a really good writing team, and I think Emery is one of the best showrunners uh, in Hollywood. Emery shakes his head. Now, I I appreciate the commendation, but you know... Well, yeah. RST runs a very tight ship. She's the one who, in spite of uh, my uh, 
My guidance, she is the final say on the matter. Always has been. Well, I still appreciate your leadership. Yeah. Um, as you guys are talking, uh, there is somebody uh, approaching the nurse's desk with a bunch of flowers. Um, a whole bouquet of flowers, actually. Um, but, uh, continue. Well, uh, yeah, Wallace is, he, his expression is still, uh, contorted by the obvious concern, but he kind of manages to just curl his lips slightly upward into his smiles. I'm, Do I'm... I think I could rewrite that equation now that I've done it and I don't need to no. scrap it? Uh, no. Okay. I'm... I mean, that is up to you, but I'm telling you right now, like, it was... It hurt your brain and it freaked you out. Like, stressed you out about how incorrect you were making it. Right. Like I was constantly having to correct myself because it's as if I'm grabbing information that, that I doesn't don't exist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm... But hell, that I still want to remind the GM that is four successes. Yeah. No, absolutely. You got like, look, out of character, it would be horribly close to a something if somebody reads it. The problem is, is anybody going to read it because of how how messy it is? Um, it looks like a ma it looks like a like a, a mad scrawling, more or less. Could you guys ask Lawrence to come visit me again? You know, when he has time. You guys have to concentrate on the show. I've uh, given you all my ideas, Emery. Of, so, of, of course, of course, and we'll we're we're still working out the ending. I honestly, somebody needs to have a conversation with RST tomorrow so that we can get things uh, all settled on final direction of that episode. There's the studio's pushing one way. She's always had a path on another. I'll tell you um, the nurse approaches and knocks on the window. I, I'm, I'm truly sorry, excuse me, but uh, you have another visitor? Are you okay with another visitor? I'm fine. I'll nod at her. I think I had brain swelling. I did have the brain swelling from a car accident. Um, this man approaches tall, a little bulky, um, a few pounds extra on him, but he's, he kind of smiles, it, like a big stupid smile, like carrying a bouquet of flowers uh, that certainly came probably down from the first floor gift shop. Um, he just says, uh, hi, uh, Kiara, right? Yes. Uh, I'm really a big fan. I'm sorry for this, but uh, I just wanted to uh, give you this uh, thank you package. Oh, well, uh, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, when I get out of here, I'll... Uh, I'll oh, thank you. <laughs> no, no problem, he says. He sets it down. Thank you. Thank you for messing up this show that I've, that I've loved. I have had family watch this and your woke behavior has certainly ruined it so thank you thank you for putting politics into my show well <laughs> are you gonna punch are you actually gonna punch uh emery's expression is gonna change immediately listen here. no 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 um, oh, uh cheesy are you gonna punch cheesy you died there my yeah friend. sorry All my right. mic was messing up yeah you're gonna punch oh yeah straight up Okay, give me. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel, I feel Jeremy is is pretty much a no and uh, no nothing kind of guy. Uh, give me a difficulty of uh, thirteen. Two dice. Difficulty thirteen. Not difficulty. <laughs> 13, sorry, sorry. Target number. Yeah, target number thirteen. Target number thirteen. Difficulty of uh, well, whatever. Let's see. Let's see what he got. He's, oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, you you hit him hard, and he just goes immediately into fist uh, swinging back. Um, yep. There are certainly now alarms and whatnot going off as uh, 
Security. <laughs> yep. Security security is piling itself in. Yep. Well, Wallace she's is... having little like flashbacks of Romanov's experience <laughs> in Section Eight, where you know she was trying to explain to them, and I'm sure stuff like oh, this. Oh, oh, Wallace is jumping on this immediately. He is furious, and he is like, he is immediately taking control of the scene. It's like, get him the hell out of here. Um, as the scuffles happening, he is shouting back, and the shouts become. Distort like in this, it's already chaos as it is already, but uh, as he as he starts shouting, you know, various unfriendly things, uh, you just hear again his shouts be, start becoming and his ears slightly pointed now. Um, as he shouts, where the fuck is my shirt? um. Sorry, guys. That's a weird thing of him to show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull the blanket over me in case I uh, shift back. I'm hoping to take some of that warmth with me. So I'll just pull up the blanket a little. Uh, I, say I, I, Sahad Vahir. Say Sahad Vahir. Um, and... Uh, you see now as the security's clothes become almost colorful, beautiful, and colors that you can't define. Um, it, it's hard to decipher as the, everyone's ears are getting more pointed and their hair grow darker. And you're just hearing one voice becoming many say sahad vahir say sahad vahir um and romanov you feel a hand on your shoulder as um you're in the shuttle with uh okay you're in the shuttle with um justice and or sorry boop 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 um Uh, Ramora, do you want any part of the shell the the shell team to navigate that that corridor, or are you gonna leave it to justice? I would love to do it. Okay. Uh, so you have uh Ramora, you have uh several engineering team, um, you have yourself and Shira there, uh, all stuffed in the shuttle, uh, all wearing um EVA suits because it's a Class D planet. <laughs> um, no. though. It, or it's going to be a Class D planet. As the shuttle door closes, you're ready to take off. Sherrod just looks to you and says, You ready? I'm ready. All right. Ramona, Ensign, take us off. Aye, aye. Everybody strap in. Um, Romanov. You're like Kira, you're remembering brief moments. It's more clear now than ever in your head. How much of the show in that situation of ancient Earth do I remember? Um, not terribly. It, it, it's like the reverse. Basically, like you remember these brief scenes, you remember brief moments. You feel you feel like Kira was real. But you definitely remember you, like you remember all your history. Um, but those those visions, those things that happened, you remember those clearly. Okay, and I'm going to look over at Ramora and go. We may not be the only group trying to look into this. Be prepared. I have a hunch there may be somebody else attempting to do this. I know that's we're going to be the only successful ones. Well, that's the way I want to make it. To be i did have a brief vision of us getting attacked as we were entering the atmosphere so uh i since i am romanoff now and i romanoff did have a memory of being attacked as i'm strapping in i'm just going to look at the flight plan and try to speculate where that attack happened and i'll forward that information to ramora so he's prepared uh sure you could do that. Um, give me a insight and security difficulty of four. Okay. 
and we have no more. We have one momentum. Jeez. Mm-hmm. I don't think there should actually be any momentum left because I think that's right. No, right. No, no, no. Yeah. Look, I got so distracted I can't even remember the rules. Okay, uh, we're, Romanov's not the only person whose mind is spinning. Okay, so you want uh, insight and security, or you wanted uh, reason or control? Um, let's give reason. Reason okay. security. Difficulty reason. four. Okay. And two dice, complication range one. Yep. Uh, I'd like to use computers as a focus. Uh, I'm basically sure. modeling the. I've, we've already modeled the flight. I'm now using that model to help me. Yep. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Okay, I got two successes. There are a number of approaches, I'm, a lot of them unfortunate for the people who could, who tries to get in here. Um, you are relatively safe as the passage behind you of this path is blocked off by the Aegis, and the captain is well in command of that. Um, you know the captain's a good, it, it has been, it's a Mako captain, more or less, and thus knows how to defend her ship very well. Yep. Um, can come from the planet itself, but if that is the case, then you are missing out on a lot of things, and that could be a lot risky uh, for everyone <laughs> because you haven't seen it. Correct. Um, and in her memory, it seemed like the you do not recall. I don't recall. Okay. Not 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 well enough to to remember the the trajectory. Just that you were hit. Okay. Sort of. It's faint. Very, very faint. Um, Shira just looks over to you and says, uh, Alaska, do you want to call us off? I need you here, present. I'm here, I'm here and I'm present, and I'm ready to do this. I'm just making sure that we have the best possible odds of doing this well. So do I. Okay. All right. Stop in. It's going to be a ride. Keep going, Ramona. Uh, shuttle to uh, Aegis. We are continuing on with the mission. Aegis Ideologist. Those words that I... Can I remember those words from the hospital? Because I've heard those words before a couple times. Which one? The... What that guy said. He, he says was, not how to be here. Yes, yeah. it means uh, peace through power. Peace through power. Uh, go ahead, Jim. Oh. Aegis acknowledges shuttle pod. Uh, keep your eyes open. We will maintain sensor contact as long as we can. Good luck, shuttle, says uh, the captain. And Shira says, thank you. And Cle- uh, signs off the communication for the moment. Are you still worried about being attacked? Oh, just let's keep all eyes open it's just to be on the safe side. It's this year. Gotcha. I'm not really big on science, but we are covered with debris. Is there any way we could take some with us into the atmosphere? We could just look like falling debris. Not if we want to set off those uh, defenses or booby traps. That's why we're going through this this passage. Gotcha. Um. All right, Ramora. Um, thankfully, with the help of the AI, instead of a complication range of four, you have a complication of one. But difficulty is still three. All right. Uh, what's the pilot check or attribute and discipline? Um, it would be a... Well, how are you going to try to approach this? Are you going to go there as fast as possible? Are you going to be cautious? What are you going to do? Fast as possible. All right, then daring con. Uh, can I use my value survival above all else? Go for it. Uh, I'm going to go for the auto two crits at the beginning. Okay. So this is going to be extended. I will say this is going to be an extended 
uh, roll, you're going to have a total of 10. Uh, people people can assist uh, Romara, uh, Romanov if you want to. Okay. You can, you can offer assistance here. Um, I think the best thing I could do would be make sure, I don't know, I, I'm a computer and engineering specialist. I could make sure the ship systems are operating at, uh, you know, the best capacity for this mission. Sure. You can assist that. Okay. Uh, let's do, uh, given how ambitious things are going, let's do daring and, uh, engineering. Daring and engineering. Okay. I can oh. also run engineering and engines for the shuttle pod if you'd like, Panda. Yeah, go for it. Daring and engineering. <laughs> oh no. Electro power systems. Well, I computers. I'll supply computers. That's what I'm working with. Sure. Right. Let's see. I'm going to save my determination. You know what? Uh, narrative, no, narrative, narrative or narrative or uh, are you going to um, give me threat? Uh, guys, I I am torn because I selfishly benefit from threat. I also, however, do love me a good narrative complication, so I must turn this over to you. Uh, how do you guys feel about the complication for the shuttle pod? That's fine. Complication for the shuttle pod. Well, Complication. Yeah. Why not? Everyone's going narrative, so I will. Uh, I will be a good team player and say, "Give us a narrative complication, Panda." And do you want that assist still? Unfortunately, I rolled two dice. I'm re-rolling that. No, you can take the two. Uh, so that's six. Um, you guys make it briskly. You are. It is a. Clear path. Um, at some point, at on occasional points, even Sh uh, Romanov and Shira, uh, and for Furnier, I imagine it's also there. Um, it, it 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 gets a little close. Like this is supposed to be a clear path. It doesn't look clear sometimes. Um, as you guys get very very close to some debris, before uh, Romora just veers away like freaking a leaf in the wind. Um, and then uh, there's suddenly a sensor ping, Ramora, from the extreme range. We've got something out there. Uh, and immediately there is a blaring on all channels. On behalf of, ha of Clan Staka. All of your shut, your shuttle, and everything it belongs to, be, uh, will be food for my my pride. What'd you say? As he's gonna start getting ready to do an evasive action. Sorry, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> um, a red fighter uh, warps in at the edge of the minefield. Of the, of the field. And instead of going down the path toward Aegis, it starts sinking toward the field itself. Oh, um, Aegis immediately... You already see Aegis immediately trying to peel itself over toward the fighter, but it's far too late. As suddenly um, you see a flash, like a small flash at first, before multiple flashes and like a uh, fourth July, the entire field starts lighting up from explosions and phaser fire as every booby trap is activating it, activating each other and growing really fastly approaching towards you. Oh God. Right. I'm gonna full throttle. All right. Ramora, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go deeper. You're gonna head right back to the uh, Tejas. You're about halfway. Oh, I'm I'm going full to the planet. Okay. 
give me a difficulty five, complication of four. Um, as suddenly the entire field starts lighting itself up. It's like a wake of it's it's a wake of just of just death. Oh no. Let me roll for the shuttle pod and see if it helps you here. Romanov, are you, Romanov, are you going to assist? Yes, of course. Uh, I'm going to, one, I will press the one. How are you going to assist? Yeah, um, back, like, you have, you have maybe, like, half a minute. Okay, I need that, to go. Before that wake right. is coming towards you. The wake is coming for, towards us. Could I make it easier for Ramora to kind of surf the front of the wake? I mean, your ba what basically is happening is like you're in a room full of fireworks, and the fireworks are starting to detonate. Okay, you found, I, if you, if you, found, you found a passage through it that you safely don't have to worry about explosives, but so, on either side is more explosives. Got so it. I'm going to reinforce. I'm going to try to protect the electroplasma power system because if we lose power, he can't fly. Sure. Why not? And I'm rolling one dice. I'd like to use my electro power systems. Sure. Okay. okay. And here it goes. If not, we'll be crash landing. Okay. There's at least two uh, successes. You try to make it forward, and uh, there is a detonation of a torpedo or some explosion that immediately throws a bunch of debris in front of your Mora before another torpedo or explosive explodes right in front of you, throwing, like, knocking the shuttle back from the sheer detonation, front, like, crisping its its hole, and you're, you're tumbling backwards, as it were. Uh, I'm going to send over the comms. Mayday, Mayday, shuttle's down. We're kind of spinning here. This is the Aegis. Get back to the ship. We're getting it. We're coming to collect you. Try to regain control. All right. Give me a uh, uh, daring con. There's flashes. The freaking the uh, the holes already crunkling a little bit with each and each destination. There's phaser grazing the hull already. It's a mess right now. And what was the roll again? Uh, daring con. Uh, difficult. I'll say the uh, complication rating is still four, um, but with difficulty of two. Yeah. So you regain control. You're tumbling, you're tumbling, and then you kick... You kick the aft burners, correct yourself, but it's still, you're now inside the wake. Uh, I'm going to try and angle the ship at a diagonal path and just try and get over it. All right. What's possible? You get over, you're trying desperately to get over the wake. Um, you suddenly hear through uh, the communications. This is the captain. Prepare for transportation. We're ditching the shuttle. You can't get there, get here fast enough. Two at a time. Me last. I'm gonna try and keep it steady. We'll say uh, Fernier is one of the people here, it's, uh, and better yet, uh, we'll say in the uh, set of uh, crash, it, like everyone getting thrown around, his visor's actually cracked. Damn it! And uh, if we do get a hull breach, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I might need to be the first to go. My suit's not secure. Got to secure it now. Um, as this is being said, uh, Romanov, your every time you tumble, it feels like you're landing right back onto the icy floor for like a brief half second. Okay. 
Is there anything I could do engineering wise that would help the transporter, the transport? Not really, but it's up to you of who's being transported. The oh, one. Uh, do you, do you... Number one, the person with the broken uh, back suit. Uh, you know, the transporter requires two at a time. It can only take two at a time, mostly. Okay. Then I'm going to, Remora's got to go last. So it's, um, it is, uh, it is uh, the, the, the broken vac suit and Eula. Eula shakes her head. Look, I, we can, <sighs> just, don't crash yourself, all right? No, no, I won't. Oh, 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 oh. The more we talk, the less transporter time there is. Fine. Go. You to beam up. Let's go. And uh, she grabs Remora and, or not Remora, uh, Fournier, and they transport. Um, as they transport away, uh, as they transport away, um, you, again, there is another smack against the hole. Uh, it it bows uh, on the uh, bottom right of the of the hole. You know how it's like an octagon? It's less of an octagon now. There's more of an indent into it as the ship hole bows a little bit. Um, sparks are flying everywhere. Uh, and you're hit against the wall. And as you hit against the wall, uh, Romanov, you're back in the hellscape barely alive you're, you're you're just you're hurting so bad but you're so close you're inside the ship there's something here there's something here it's you got to get closer to it you have to get close to it you're so close crawl out of this uh this thing that i'm in and... this this whole you're, you're inside the whole of this ship it is ancient there is ice oh. and snow everywhere a airing part of you hurts. You're still so cold. You know you're going to die. You're going to die soon. But something, something is here to save you. Something you need to be here for. Yeah, yeah, I follow that. Um, you crawl forward, and as you're crawling forward, you're back on the ship. Or you're, you're, you're back on the shuttle. Um, as literally fireworks and death is outside. Um. You're looking around, and uh, as you're looking around, you see it now, this artifact, uh, uh, pretty much fused against the side of the shuttle. Um, it's what you wanted. It's always what you wanted. It's been, you've, you've always wanted to hold it. You've held a part of it for analysis of the other half. It's here. It's here for you. You just got to take it. Okay, now I'm in the shuttlecraft, or I'm in the. Um, You're in the shuttlecraft, but the, the 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 you can see the the artifact welded into the wall, practically, uh, oh. next to you. Then I'll if we're still in the same scenario and the ship's just taken damage, I'm gonna tell them to get you know two at a time, but get Ramora first, and I'll go look at the. I'm gonna touch the artifact. This is how I got in trouble in the past, but I'll do it. Um, Ramora, are you going to protest? Because you're a pile of damn ship. Oh, absolutely. You transport me, whoever I see first is getting punched. And I'm going to turn back. I'm not leaving you. Not right now. Okay, well then, this is going to be a rough ride, man. This is going to be a rough ride. And I touch the artifact. You try to touch the artifact, and again, it's just it's too like you. It's so close, but so far, and you're you're back on the ship. It's uh, you're back on the ancient ship, and you're you can't move forward anymore. It hurts too much, but it's right there on a dais, and it, it's just right there. It's right there, and if you grab it, you'll be safe. Well, then I'm doing my best to get to it. Do you want an extreme fitness roll or anything like that? Um, yeah, give me a daring fit or give me a fitness, fitness and 
<sighs> Command or security is up for you. I'll take security. I'd like to use my Vulcan martial arts. And also a difficulty of three. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and blow my value right now, which is every problem has a solution in this case. I'm dying. Solution is on the dais. I sure hope so. Here it goes. You reach... And um, as you reach out with all of your strength, um, the last gasp, you're back on the shuttle. You look around. You have one more engineer. You have um, you have Ramor right there. You know it's Ramor shoots damage, but you have an option. Mm-hmm. You feel it in you, in these brief, slow moments. You can transport. You can take the transport, and you will feel peace. Or you can touch the item, take remor- have Remora and the Engineer go, and take whatever's there. I'm going to have Remora and the Engineer go. Uh, and Ramor, you are going to punch somebody as you are immediately tra- You can feel yourself being disintegrated um, and transported. I'm so um, sorry. But then everything feel everything goes white. And Kiara, you wake up with the knock on the uh, glass door. Okay, at least I'm not cold to the bone. I'll uh, sit up in my hospital bed and look at the the door. Except, Kira, you're Romanov. At least you feel like you're Romanov, or maybe Kira. It's hard now to figure out who's who. Um, That's okay. I'll accept both. Duality is certainly, you know, an Earth concept. And at least uh, science, certain aspects of science, a Vulcan concept. I'm going um, to give this back over the GM. Zach? <clears throat> Emery steps in. Uh, well, I must say, you've, you've had us all quite worried today. You're feeling any it's better? Been- Quite a day, hasn't it? Oh, she man. laughed. But... Man, it has. Um, well, I, I hope you're feeling a little more yourself. Um, really, really, I am. Um, I'm doing a lot better. Good. I, I, I don't know. Um, I fell. Perhaps I hit my head. I did have a concussion as a child and brain swelling. Maybe this all activated that. You know, we can't always predict these health events, right? No, we cannot. But you, you're, I'll, I'll give it to you. You are a fighter. And I think that's something that we need in order to right the ship. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I hope that you are ready for perhaps the most difficult and dangerous fight yet. Um, Emery's there going. Is no... <clears throat> Go ahead. There, there is no way but forward. Well, in that case, I don't think that. Uh, you'll notice that you no longer have any hospital equipment plugged into you, and Emery is gesturing towards what was a glass panel um, or the the glass panels uh, leading out to the hospital it is now simply a wall that you would recognize from Galaxy Studios with a door that nobody dares cross save perhaps for Valerie Sage or another studio exec and you know even they right. shy away from the 
office of the head writer, RST. Right. Well, let's make our pitch then. Oh, I can't help you past this point. I'm... I wish I could, but... You know, I, I really do actually like this show. I, I grew up liking it, and... I don't know entirely what she's doing with it, but I... I don't know. You're a good man, Emery. And, like I said, I like working for you. We can't always control everything that happens to us. But we can control our reactions. I think I got this. I'm not scared of this door. I'll okay. see you, uh, on the other side, Emery. Good luck. He, he just quietly says and nods and waves you along. Good luck. Thank you. I'll open the door. Opening the door, you step through and find a crowded and cramped room filled to the brim with books and texts and scrolls um, and notepads, both like full-size notebooks and the small, uh, small little hand pads, uh, and a an old wooden desk lit by a uh, illuminated by a lamp focused on the writing before uh, whom you've come to know as the head writer uh, one RST uh, she is hunched down scribbled over several pads uh, and consulting each of them as she goes through and marks out bits of script you even see that uh, there is a typewriter nearby where she is working up what you can only imagine to be later parts of the season. Probably. I'll just look at her and go, RST, you wanted to see me? Oh, please, call me Sue. Okay. I'll sit down. Uh, she kind of rubs her forehead a moment. Clearly, like, there, uh, in this... The room is, like, reasonably well ventilated, but there is a feel of some sort of drag, of some sort of exhaustion. The lights themselves are a little off. A, gen a, gen bleh, a gentle tinge of blue just kind of uh, illuminates this room in addition to the lamps that ought to feel warmer, but don't quite give off that proper glow. Oh. I'm could use your help figuring out a predicament if you're if you're well at this point oh yes i'm fine mm. brain swelling and a slip and a fall and she'll nog off some medical terminology because well romanoff has spent extensive amounts of time under doctor's care <laughs> yeah i'm i'm just i am so stuck on this ending i i have to admit I'm a little blocked. I, I genuinely don't know. Well, Do step back and just review for me your last few I'm sequences. Just, I'm just going to pose the question to you here, Kiara. Romanov, mm -hmm. does she live or does she die? I think she's got to live thought bubble i have a prejudice on that side and then she she steeples her hands setting aside at the pen that she had and cradling her chin in them and why does she need to survive what is what is even the point because the whole point of this show is that people go out and they discover something new and when we discover something new we learn something about ourselves so just killing her off on a planet, it's dumb. But if she makes it to that ship and there's something interesting, or even more important, you know, a dimension of her character is revealed, it's going to intrigue the audience. I mean, that's, that's what made the show brilliant. And in a way, 
you know a guy came barging into my hospital room and Jeremy had to punch the guy out. But what the guy said was, you know, he, he was obviously hearkening back to the origins of the show. I disregard the, the, the way in which he said it, but the idea was, was that it's the spirit of discovery. So, your people are out among the stars, uh, showing themselves to, uh, uh, declaring themselves anew and uh, making their impression upon things. And in that way, they, they grow stronger. Is that about how I see it there? Yeah. She, the desire a... for discovery and exploration has always driven humanity. And if your people were to go out into the uh, go out into the field to declare themselves and to get everything that you wanted, and then I don't think I, I don't think it's about getting everything that you wanted, but it is about discovering something that could change the way people think. Think of all the modern war, the, the, all the exploration that's happened up to this point of history. We still talk about it. Circumnavigation of the globe. Discovery of new lands. Meeting new cultures. This is what the audience has always wanted. Perhaps you're right, Aleska. Maybe... I... Just need. It's difficult to, to think that way after so long. She'll step. Uh, she'll lean back in her chair. Now, the broad strokes of this have always been my design, but there's so much more. I could still tell you, and there's so much I wish I'd been able to say earlier, or that had been said earlier in the show. You do have most of the pieces in front of you already. I can but help you put them together. I would love that help. It's been a difficult puzzle. Okay, Commander. Then what are your questions? Well, uh, I assume in talking to you, I'm interfacing with the artifact that I discovered on Sarka 4. Um, and it certainly changed my neurology and brain scans. I have connections in different ways than other people. So I guess I'm here to find out what it was about. I, I know that there's a message here, something to discover. This, I, I was drawn here. You wanted me here. And you know I'm the type of person that will show up. She frowns her brow and says, I could tell you some of this, but I, I must have you know first, it is not without cost. Jill wave a finger in the air. There are consequences to bearing this knowledge, and to do so will only set you on a more challenging path, one far more difficult. Well, let me ask you this, because you wanted me here And I've been drawn here. I have to assume you want to pass this message. I am not uninterested in it. Could you there. could you repeat that again? I I am interested in that, yes, but I need you to understand as one that bears the few that could bear that information and that uh, well, the only one who is 
in the uncounted years that have transpired since this has been laid out. To bear this knowledge is dangerous. And indeed, the path that it sets you on is going to be more difficult. That is, I, I can open the door and I can show you what is through here, but I will not force you to walk through it. Not the rest of the way. I understand. And I wish to step through. Very well. Uh, and then just player check because my thoughts were momentarily derailed. Uh, what was your first query there, Brian? Oh, God, I have no idea. My mo my thoughts have been derailed since the beginning of... Well, since this run, I've been caught off guard. So I'm not sure what her thoughts were. But yeah. she's come to agree that yeah. she needs to know. Yeah, she's... Well, she'll start... I think I'll start with some of the drops here that might give you a little bit of context. Uh, I so very wish, Romanov, that... More time had been in the sto uh, more story time had been spent with you that we'd not had quite so much cut. I mean, the seeds have been laid out very early on. I mean, what is the irony of joining your, uh, of meeting those new friends of yours so f long ago back on Alpha Centauri when they were riding on the very ship that carried that which you sought, that first clue towards finding us. True, true. Uh, but uh, I've learned a lot in my journeys, and I'm part of a team. So it's not always about me, but what I can do for the team. Yes, yes. But how much... Well, uh, it's still largely my fault here that you haven't learned more. Even after you did finally uh, retrieve those remains from the... Those bumbling traitors. Now, Romanov, your mind harkens back for a moment, and you recall uh, last year, at a certain point, the uh, the encounter on the Ithanite freighter, uh, where more significantly, you ha uh, you and the crew had picked up. Um, it was the uh, the quote-unquote friendship beads from Narth that had induced a great many hallucinations. Uh, you yourself recalled experiencing scenes uh, involving a small child uh, wearing a mask yep. and the, the others that have been around. And apparently they had lived life on a ship some time long ago. <sighs> Of course, you. Well, you do understand who we are. Did you ever come to understand the nature of us? Well, I believe I did understand a bit of it. And in interacting with her, I got a feel for who your people are. I can put a little more together for you. Uh, let's drip feed from some of your memories. And Romanov, um, pulling together the memory of the the ship that you had encountered, the first artifact, the the remains delivered to you by the Ethanites, and then some later reports that came from the lab suggesting uh, that mummified remains resided there very little uh, there uh, with a a few uh, smidgens suggesting an elevated level of copper content uh, something long decayed uh, in terms of biological material uh, oh my god she's she's kind of thinking about this the only copper blooded species that I'm aware of is Romulans, well, sorry, Vulcans. Yeah. <sighs> Are you somehow connected to them? She's going to smile and set forward. 
You have been, you have learned well, undoubtedly that teacher of yours would, uh, would be quite proud of you. Thank you. I'll let him know. I wish that the news were all good. In bearing this, the true penalty of the, the difficulty comes not just from understanding the past, but knowing what the future is. RST, she... Uh, she uh, runs her hand through the side of her hair, the point of an ear coming through. See, much like you, Alaska, much like what you think humanity would do, my people also set forth into the stars. We declared ourselves anew. And... When we sought to make our mark, we paid a price. And we were not ready for it. I can only open the door and show you what is there, but you must decide if you want to walk through. And as she says this, Romanov, on the desk to your side a small version of the obelisk that you had first encountered as manifested oh my god yeah that's, that's, the, that's it the choice is always yours but she I, nods I need you to know if you do this, you will not be the same. She'll reach out and touch it. And at your first contact with the object, Romanov, the room goes blurry and dizzy. All right, you feel a bit dizzy um, as you... Uh, you're, you, like, vertigo overtakes you as you get your bearings. You realize first that you are no longer sitting, but you are standing. Um, and as you, that's the, the first element you get is a sense of direction. Um, all this as you find yourself in the engine room um, where alarms are blaring out and whoop, let me bring that up a bit more alarms are blaring out um, fires are coming from the side uh, from the sides coolant is leaking uh, engineers are wounded and uh, like struggling to maintain everything um, Fernier uh, looks up and says commander I'm having trouble keeping the plasma field sta uh, the plasma injector stabilized let me see what I can do I'll, she'll immediately jump into engineer mode and look at the readout and see if there's anything she can shift to assist him. No. Uh, oh, as you hear that, um, similarly, audio comes over the uh, audio comes over the uh, line here. Um, security team, uh, security teams to. Uh, uh, to starboard and port hangars, uh, also report to F Shuttle Bay. Prepare to repel borders. Uh, as Romanov, uh, you look over the engine controls. You can tell whatever the situation you are in. The ship is taking an absolute beating. Power is fluctuating. The containment fields are barely holding together. Um, give me a daring plus engineering roll just to get things a bit more stabilized. I'm going to set this to a difficulty of two. A power focus would apply here. Okay, I'll use electro systems. And <clears throat> this is the ship. This is the place to spend the determination. So I'm going to spend it now. Okay. 
Okay, so. All right. You get five points of success um, with the, with that complicate, or rather with the uh, invocation of your determination here. So that will give you three points of momentum. Um, as that is, uh, as that is going on at the moment, uh, the, the comm line, uh, or rather there's a chime from the, um, there's a chime over the, there's a chime from the engineering communications um, and call out to engineering to bridge, engineering, or er, rather bridge to engineering. Go ahead. This is the captain. Get us emergency warp now. Okay, I'll uh, look down and see if I can uh, get, can I get us to warp? You, you think that you might be able to. It's going to take a little bit more in order to do it. Um, okay. Yeah, for nurses. Commander, we can't possibly leave. This is the most uh, most popular... Uh, look, you yourself should know. Uh, Alpha Centauri might have uh, broken away, but it's sti uh, these are still our people. We can't... Uh, that can't is leave an them. order, Commander. Emergency warp. Get us out of here. You heard the you heard the woman. Damn damn the uh, boarding ships. All right, one more daring plus engineering task. Uh, difficulty will go up to three. Um, as a note, you have uh, you, while you've got the engine somewhat stabilized, uh, you are going to have issues trying to shunt things over to uh, warp drive. That being said, you have three points of momentum to spend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend two points of a momentum that gets me three dice right um so one point of momentum will get you three dice spending all three points of momentum will get you the uh four d20s as as, it's, as you're doing this uh the captain says uh, i'm getting security teams down there to stop the makos from getting to the engineer room do it as fast as you can i need it now commander i'm spending all the momentum all right. And uh, can I apply warp field dynamics as a focus to this? Yes. Okay, here it goes. Mm, well, there is your three successes. That is a complication. Um, I'll take it narrative. Oh, it's poetic with these narrative complications of the session. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> you, uh, you managed to just shunt the power th uh, that you've... Uh, after stabilizing the main reactor, you manage to shunt power through the nacelles. They are just barely balancing out, uh, and the warp field is not entirely stable, but you think that warp power uh, is functional. Um, just as pretty much as soon as that has happened, you suddenly j uh, like j jump forward to warp. Uh, the dampeners don't quite feel like they take all of that, though, and you feel yourself thrown against the... Uh, reactor itself um, okay. as yes. dragging ships too <laughs> we're, we're being boarded guys <laughs> yep as you kind of pull your head back you have that again dizzy blurry sensation as you find yourself like uh, very wobbly and almost soaring through the corridors of the aegis um, very unsteady it's uh, you know one would think that they were somehow afflicted or like sleep deprived. They are, you are so unsteady. Well, you're not even convinced you're on your feet for it. It feels like a, yeah. a, a very clumsy glide through the tight corridors of a ship that has taken more and more punishment over the years. It is at that point you find yourself in the sick bay where you feel, Romanov, not so much that you yourself are injured or nothing that you haven't endured uh, in significantly worse fashion, but there Ooh. is a tremendous anxiety, a sense of trepidation as you uh, pass through those walls. Um, and as you stumble past the loads of casualties of uh, crew members that have passed... Uh, you see Xantar before you, haggard, spattered with 
uh, red and blue blood. I'll just go sit because I ain't the most wor I'm not the worst case. Oh no, you know? you, you didn't come here for yourself. And oh. Santar, you you see Romanov has just entered the room. Uh, the plain as day look of uh, great concern and just of wanting to know. Alexei, I I'm so sorry. I I couldn't save them. I I tried. You can't, you, you can't save everyone. All we can do is our best. But I tried so hard. And she'll put his hand, uh, she'll put her hand on his shoulder. And you did. And you saved some people today. I could have done one more. And you can Romanov always tell yourself yeah. that. But... R Romanov is, as he says this, and as you try to reassure him that that one more haunts him as the last body laid out succumb to her injuries lies before you. That's gonna probably make her back up against the wall. That's her best friend. No. And as you... And if there's anywhere she's gonna collapse, it's, it's right now. Um, and... Uh, Romanov, as you as you do that, um, you find yourself um, sitting back uh, at uh, in the evening. Oh wait, yeah, I'm I've got the wrong uh, image here, but I'm just going to I'm gonna roll yeah, with your time. No, I'm gonna get this right. I wanted this particular set. I am going to find the particular set. So let's see. Where, where did I put you? There it is. Okay. Um, so, Aleska, um, you find yourself uh, slumping back on the wall of the grounds of Starfleet headquarters. You see that at first you are alone, but there are the beginnings of figures starting to emerge around you. Um, you see uh, Colonel Sharp, you see Marcus Horn, uh, Remora even has uh, come to join you. Um, would you guys, would all of you be uniformed at this point, or would you have adopted different yeah. dress? Uh, uniform, but hers a lot more undone. Um, and uh, look, it's it's well worn, but also loose now. She's not currently strapped like uh, set to look proper. Um, she has her wife with her. Uh, she wears an eye patch and which one? one? Of her arms. Huh? Which one? Uh, Athena. You always have to ask which one. <laughs> yes, yeah. too. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it. Um, Athena and. Uh, then um, her she has an eye patch and uh, one of her arms are replaced with a prosthetic. Okay, uh, Horn, how are you looking at this point? Still, as I don't think Horn ever got a proper uniform uh, or a rank designation. Um, so he's very casual. Um, uh, like kind of a dress shirt, but very open. Um, just enjoying the evening. A uh, bit more, more gray in his hair. But otherwise, kind of the same. Yep. And then, Remora, uh, what of you? How are you looking at this point? Fully dressed in uniform and fully at attention. You what am I dressed I, I look down. What am I dressed in? Um, I will give you choice here, um, depending on how you think the somber occasion should be greeted, either with full uniform or with, uh, 
if you think that she's gone back to civilian clothes for this this last gathering, and it's entirely up to you. She's in uniform, but it's casual. You know, it's not all buttoned up. It's just, you know, lo- the, the, the neck piece is, you know, the, the buttons are, are loose so that she's comfortable. You can relax, Ramona. Statuses and whatnot don't matter. Yes. Well, does the captain have to promote you again for you to finally relax? <laughs> you know what? Why not? You're commander now, Ramona. Relax. That's an order. All right, Captain. She just shakes her head, looks at her wife. I tried. I really did. And I'm sorry. I couldn't do more. We can only do our best in these situations. We can't control all the dynamics. You did the best you did. You're a good captain. My opinion, one of the best I've met. I should have told everybody sooner. Should have tried something, but she shakes her head. Well, every story comes to an end. Even it has been a particularly long one, so, you know, I suppose this is as good as any. Romanov, it's worth noting looking around. The grounds of headquarters are not particularly full, um, such that you can see San Fran- uh, parts of San Francisco from this vantage point. Only some of the lights appear to be active. Uh, you can tell that the United Earth flag, which has long been displayed, uh, has been pulled down, along with any emblem for Starfleet. Uh, there is uh, there is not even cons- uh, the usual considerable traffic of like hover vehicles and uh, whatnot. The, there is an eerie emptiness uh, even at night here. Um, <clears throat> I think at this point Athena would say, um, at least we can enjoy this time among friends, and. With a little aid to that end, she says, pulling or producing a bottle of uh, Captain. What would be the nicest thing in your reserve that Athena would have kept from you for a long time? Oh man, um, uh, you know what? Let's let let's go with something uh, fan service. You'll see Chateau Bicard, um, Chateau from 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 the nineteenth century. Mm. Ooh, an excellent vintage. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, so, nice glass of, uh, yeah. of red wine. Yeah, I, nice. I heard the wine. I heard that there were, like, resistance tunnels in the areas of some of those wine regions from World War II. <sighs> Already cleared out from what I heard. Mm-hmm. What's left, anyways. She looks over. She looks over to Horn. When do you think the light show is going to start for us? Fifteen. Hmm. Well, I can enjoy a little bit of this. She says, "Hey, we better enjoy the wine fast then." But at least we're in good company. I look up at the sky. Uh, yeah. At this at this point, Romanov, you do see well, it's, the night sky does seem nice, though there are a few. It, well, it is actually interesting. The stars seem at first to twinkle out a little bit more than usual, but then you realize that some of those points of light appear and then disappear very quickly. As an engineer, have I, or an experienced Starfleet officer, have I seen such things mm. before on a planet? Satellites approaching something or other. If if you want one last roll, we can make it the. Uh, 
insight and really whatever discipline you want. Inside security or inside engineering? Which do you think? Either works. Okay, I'll just go inside security, two dice. Do we have one momentum? Do I really want to know that? You have no momentum at all. <laughs> oh, okay. we have we know. I'm. I'll do one grab. better. It's a difficulty zero. <laughs> the DM in the in the Great Barrier wow. takes pity on us all. Wow, there we go. And I'll roll two complications. This is the only game I ever roll good in. Oh. <laughs> okay, try to figure out what it is. Because I don't want to look at them and say, what's going on here? Because that's the worst to do when you've been no. mentally trans. You know, you know what's ironic, Captain? There are, so, there are so many people who believe in ancient times that the first sign of the world ending would be the stars going out. <laughs> yeah. Now there's too many of them. Yeah. All with the same thought. And Romanov, you recognize Sharp is not wrong. For the sky does appear full of stars and everyone an exploding ship. With the with a pour of glasses, uh, Athena it sees to it that all of you now have a bit of red wine, and it's like I I don't know what to toast to now. Until the end. Until, Until the end. end. Until the end. And to good company. And to good company. Mm -hmm. She kisses her wife dearly while, while toasting. Mm -hmm. And with... I, uh, she will look over at Marcus, though. Marcus, have, have you ever done any writing in the past? <laughs> Which you one? Know, fiction? I tried my hand, but... I'm a terrible storyteller. She nods. And with a with a uh, with a uh, with the wine going down your throat, the sky begins to get so much brighter as pulses of light begin to fall across the bay. It is still from a distance, but Romanov, you see, first one, then two, then more distantly. Other explosions, other clouds, other great lights, far enough away that you will survive the, uh, these next few moments, but close enough to know that you are doomed. As the lights pick up, as the waves of heat begin to rush over you, as you stay in these last moments with your surviving crew, you find the rush of wind takes you, and you find your eyes glancing out into space, and a mournful voice. We tried to make our mark on the galaxy. We declared ourselves anew. When we came, we paid a price. We found we were not ready for what waited. And Panda, I turn this back to you now. Okay. Or, uh, I suppose... I suppose. Uh, well, I should ask. Uh, did you have an idea of where we go? Uh, where we go to next, or would this be a? Uh... Um. You would briefly see dozens upon dozens of ships, um, familiar to the wreckage, and a ghostly, large 
shadow overtaking him of a shape you've never discovered before. And the fear you feel deep in your heart that you do not want that ship closer. That you know it's over. To run. And then even running, even running that you will lose everything close to you. Despite that. And um... Uh, GM, if there's no other message that we, we, we you and I have, have thought about, um, well, I think I think we can pull. Uh, I, well, Will we be me, bringing her me, back to sick bay? I guess is the question. Or yeah, is she... yeah, we'll, okay. we're, we're bring we're bringing her back to sick bay. Yeah. So you wake up um, with that with that terrifying, heartfelt fear, right. And um, Xantar's there. Um, the captain's there. Uh, Horn, you uh, would you be there? Or would you be on the sh uh, on the bridge? What? I can be there. Yeah. Uh, Ramora, you're a little banged up. <laughs> you you all been tossed around a little bit. Um, who was so you, who was doing transporters? Uh, there was a the specific transporter chief was here. Uh, he can also be in sick bay, uh, like with an ice recovering for a for black eye. Yeah. Um, how startled are you when you wake up? Do you just open your eyes, or because it, it is a it is like an inert, instinctive fear of that shadow. I, I'm sure she wakes with a startle, but yeah. she's going to try to get her mentality focused because I don't know if this is I'm really back on my ship or is this another The yeah. captain the, the captain gently but firmly pulls your shoulder back there. Easy. Easy there, Romanov. You have Romanov, you have a, uh, a basically a, a splint splint in the cast around an arm uh, you can barely open one eye. Um, there's a patch over it. Uh, you are basically almost like just a mess, a mess of, of medical gear on you. What time is it? 2200 hours. But you're alive. You got us off of the shuttle. We beamed off. Everyone got off the shuttle except for you, but we got you back. She nods. How are you feeling? I know it's a little awkward to ask, Captain. The small uh, spot. I'm gonna concentrate for a moment and use my Vulcan training to just calm my mind. You know, I'll focus on a, bre a Vulcan breathing. You now. try to calm your mind, and I will tell you right now, those things are not helping right now. Whatever what, whatever that shadow is, is breaking even your, your uh, meditations. Got it. Uh, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying like it's overwhelming. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's that... It it's just it, it, it's just that the uncomfortable feeling a little bit is just it, it's off, still leaving you off center. I'm I'm good, Captain. It's been a ride. She'll kind of look at her with her one eye. I can say it's that. Certainly, you've uh, taken a ride that most don't. Yeah, yeah, I. Uh... I, I I think other than the physical injuries and I'm in the best care I can possibly think of, uh, I, I'll, I'll be okay. I don't think I'm walking anywhere for a bit. She'll smile. It hurts to smile. <laughs> Everything hurts. Um, what a smile. Does Santa, does Santa sort of uh, like just goes, no, no, Commander, uh, it's best you... Relax as many muscles as possible, trust me. Okay, I'm just going to lay back here and heal up. Captain, I'll eventually want to talk to you. 
Well, that's a thing I was going to ask you. Calmly. If you can handle it, Commander. Mm -hmm. We didn't find you at the crash site. We found you at um, the ruins for some reason. Certainly that makes some sense, but you were in a fetal position around this. She gestures off to the table. Um, you can describe it, GM, or what that artifact looks like. Okay. Was was this something you'd sent to me, or... Uh, no, but just make it up. Okay. I don't know. All right. Romanov, materially, it reminds you a great deal of the artifact that you had encountered previously, but in much smaller, slightly more ordered fashion. It's almost as if some element of it was that it seems a missing piece, if one would guess. It is. Uh, it appears glassy, maybe to, uh, like almost something obsidian-like. Um, but Does this appear like it's a key that could, or something that would click into the artifact that I originally encountered? Uh, I don't know if there was anything so neat from the original encounter. It's obviously been some time since you encountered the previous obelisk. Uh, right. But the items that you have, uh, well, it, there was definitely, there was a similar quality to this. Or the, the same sort of sensations when you had, uh, as when you had previously encountered it. Or technology like it. I'll look over at the captain. This is related to the artifact I originally encountered. I crawled from the shuttle to a debris area where this was at, and I recovered it because it's connected. Uh, oh, but we whatever should... it is, it's dead now. It might have discharged its message into me, but I'm I'm not ready to deliver that report, Captain, and we have to do that in private. Sure. Get some rest of the car moment. I'll leave uh, for an air the rest right. of the team. I'm, not playing, I, I'm not playing soccer today, that's for sure. No, no you are not. <laughs> Get some rest. I will. Thank you. I'm glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back, like you wouldn't believe. When you're up and ready, I need you to do some work, because we certainly have a lot of salvage now. But... I bet. Yeah. As soon as Antar says I'm 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 good to go. She just nods, pats you very very delicately on the shoulder, with like a few just like a few few finger tap on the shoulder, um, before looking to the doctor, doctor, captain. And she'll just leave. Yep. Uh, Shira will cast as, as as she's sort of heading off. Santa's just going to quickly like clean the area that the captain touched, just like <laughs> very carefully. <laughs> I I would imagine Shira sticks around for a moment, casting a glance to the captain and then exchanging a bit of a knowing look with uh, Marcus um, before just attending to you. I um, just very gently placing her hand uh, hand on uh, your shoulder and saying. Good to know you're all right, Aleska. I'm doing good. It was a ride. It was a ride. With, with that smile, with those final words, and with hopefully more of the season of Star Trek Adventures Aegis to come, I think unless somebody has anything particularly pressing, that is the best place to cut the session off for today. Does everyone feel good with that? I agree. Yeah. I am good with that. Yep, I'm yep. Good with that. All right. Well then, for those of you in the archives, this is where we are going to leave you for now. So I will... Uh, be, uh, well, I will be returning as GM next week, and we will be coming back with a new adventure uh, coming up this uh, this next Saturday. If you want to join us live, uh, be able to affect the games with uh, Quatloos to 
influence uh, threat or momentum we will be back and because we're at that time of the year we'll be getting into some more spooky fare so i right hope on. i hope you folks all enjoy um yeah join us live 1 p.m eastern standard time on twitch.tv slash jam and the great barrier and we will be back around until then a good rest of your day everyone